Hey meal preppers, welcome back to Sweet Peas and Saffron. I'm Denise and I share easy meal prep recipes that are going to give you your time back during the week. Today we are stocking up the freezer with seven slow cooker freezer chicken breast recipes. So if you haven't heard of freezer slow cooker or crock pot freezer recipes, they are so awesome. Basically you assemble the ingredients for your meal in a bag, freeze, and then when you're ready to cook, you will thaw and just dump the contents into the slow cooker and push the button so you don't have to measure anything out. You don't have to go digging around for your recipe. You just push the button and dinner is already cooking. I have to say that when I had my two-year-old when he was first born, the freezer crock pot meals were my absolute favorite because they are just so easy to get cooking. You can do it while you're holding a baby and they also cook a big batch. So it's kind of like built-in lunches as well. Today, we're going to focus on chicken breast. So next time chicken breast is on sale, stock up on it and make a bunch of these freezer crock pot meals. So equipment that you're going to need today, obviously you're going to need a slow cooker. So I love my crock pot brand cook and carry slow cooker. It's six quart and it fits a big batch. Or if you have a smaller family, you can purchase a 2.5 quart slow cooker. So in addition to the slow cookers, you're going to need some bags. I recommend a good quality freezer bag. So make sure it says freezer on the box and make sure that it has two seals so that you are not going to leak anything in your freezer. Now, if you're like me and you want to reduce your plastic waste, you can invest in some good silicone bags. So I have a couple different options for you here today. I am using the Stasher bags. So this is the larger volume. I'm not actually sure the exact volume, but I will link you to the ones I'm using below. I also have these alternative bags that are really great as well, and they're more affordable. So I will drop you the link to these below. So one more thing, if you wanna make it even easier, I recommend these little bag holders. They work great to hold the bag open so you're not prying it open every time you have to add an ingredient. And they work great for both silicone and plastic bags. So today I'm gonna to work you through each recipe. Um, we're going to just assemble them and I'm not going to show you how to cook them. However, each recipe has its own post on the blog and so if you wanna see the final photos of the recipe, you can head over to the blog and check it out. Before we get started, I just wanted to mention that I am going to be having the recipes as written. So the recipes call for two pounds of chicken breast and we just have four people in my family, two of which are very small children. So that is too much for my family. If you are going to have these recipes, plan to cook them in a 2.5 quart crock pot because if you have them, you cannot cook them in a large crock pot. There's just not enough liquid. If you have any questions about swaps and substitutions, head over to the blog. I have a very comprehensive blog post and they answer pretty much all of these questions. And so we're just going to jump in and get started on these recipes. Okay, so the first recipe we're gonna work our way through is the slow cooker lemon garlic chicken. This recipe simmers in a buttery, lemony, garlicky sauce that is so tasty. And we like to serve ours with steamed broccoli and rice. To our freezer bag, we are going to add our boneless, skinless chicken breasts, chicken stock, garlic, salt, dried basil, lemon zest, bouillon. Now I like to use better than bouillon, so I haven't tested it with like a powdered bouillon. We're going to add white wine and I'm just using a cooking wine, but you could get fancy and add your favorite wine. And last but not least is some cubed butter. So we're going to squish the bag up and mix up all the ingredients and pop it in the freezer. So for this lemon garlic chicken, right before we serve, we add some fresh lemon juice and that just brightens all the flavors up. You can garnish with some fresh parsley as well for a little color and enjoy. Our next recipe is for slow cooker cilantro lime chicken. So this recipe is great as a filling for tacos. You can use it on a taco salad or just serve it with some rice and roasted vegetables. So to our bag, we're going to add our boneless skinless chicken breast. And then in a separate cup, I'm going to blend up the sauce. Now I have a bit of an issue with cilantro lime chicken that uses whole cilantro leaves because I find they get really slimy 
and I just don't enjoy the texture of it. So instead of putting whole cilantro leaves, we are going to blend the cilantro leaves up in a sauce, and that way we get all the cilantro flavor without the soggy cilantro leaves. We are going to blend together chicken stock, garlic, salt, cumin, ground coriander, the zest of a lime, honey, and cilantro leaves. I'm just going to use my immersion blender and blend it all up until it's smooth. We'll pour our sauce into the bag. Our next recipe is for slow cooker barbecue chicken. We love using this chicken on sandwiches, on pizza, in wraps, and on tacos. It's really versatile and it's so easy to throw together. So in our bag, we're going to add the boneless, skinless chicken breasts, barbecue sauce, maple syrup, apple cider vinegar, and just a little bit of chili powder. Mix it all up and pop it in the freezer. Our next recipe is for slow cooker teriyaki chicken. So for this slow cooker teriyaki chicken, about an hour before we serve, we are going to stir together a slurry of cornstarch and water, and we're going to add it to the slow cooker, and this just helps the sauce get nice and thick and sticky. So it comes with this delicious sauce that's perfect, and you can spoon it over rice or vegetables. So in our bag, we are adding our reduced sodium soy sauce, honey, we are also adding garlic, water, mirin. If you can't find mirin, you can swap for wine or sake, or you can just leave it out. It adds like a subtle bit of flavor that makes it taste more like bottled teriyaki sauce, but the sauce is still great without it. Squish up all the ingredients and pop it in the freezer. Our next recipe is for honey garlic chicken. So this is similar to the teriyaki chicken in that we are going to be adding some cornstarch and water about an hour before serving, and it goes great with rice and veggies. So to our bag, we are adding boneless, skinless chicken breast, honey, reduced sodium soy sauce, garlic, apple cider vinegar, Worcestershire sauce, and sesame oil. Squish it all together and pop it in the freezer. Our next recipe is for slow cooker salsa chicken. This is another great all-purpose chicken recipe that you can use in a lot of different ways, including in tacos or burritos. You can use it in burrito bowls or grain bowls or taco salad. Basically, you can just prep a big batch of this and use it in multiple meals through the week. So to our bag, we are adding boneless, skinless chicken breast, salsa, cumin, and chili powder. And that's it, it's so easy. Pop it in the freezer and you are good to go. Our last recipe is for slow cooker chicken fajitas. So a lot of people will freeze the vegetables in with their chicken and cook them all up together. Personally, I find that the vegetables end up extremely soft when you do it this way, and so I prefer to add the vegetables during the last hour of cooking. However, if soft vegetables don't bother you, you are welcome to add them to the bag and freeze them and cook them all up with the chicken. For the slow cooker chicken fajitas, we're going to add to our bag boneless, skinless chicken breasts, honey, olive oil, chili powder, cumin, paprika, salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and fire roasted tomatoes. So we will just seal up the bag, squish it all together, and pop it in the freezer. So that takes care of our seven slow cooker chicken breast recipes. A few questions I know I'm going to get are, can I cook this in the Instant Pot? 
The answer is probably, but I haven't tested. So if you try any of these in the Instant Pot, make sure you head over to the blog post and leave a comment because this is super helpful for other readers. Number two, I know I'm going to get asked if you can cook these from frozen. It's not recommended that you cook meat from frozen in the slow cooker. And the reason is that they cannot guarantee that the internal temperature of the meat will get to the temperature required to kill off harmful bacteria. So if you're cooking meat from frozen in the slow cooker, you are putting yourself and your family at risk of getting food poisoning. Of course, I myself have done this in a pinch. I'm sure you have too. It's just up to you. Do it at your own risk. As I mentioned before, I have a ton of frequently asked questions and swaps and substitutions over on the blog, so head on over there if you have a question. And if you loved this video, I know you're gonna love the next one because I'm showing you how to put together seven freezer chicken marinades. We freeze our chicken right in the marinade, and as it thaws, it absorbs so much flavor, and it also makes dinner a lot easier. So check it out over there. Is it bouillon or bouillon? Boulon. Bouillon. Bouillon? Bouillon. 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 I say it. Bouillon.